We don't grow up thinking that we're going to be homeless. I'm 58 years old. Since I've been in Australia, so I'm now 71, I have moved 25 times. It is a worry. It's in the forefront of my mind that, like, I'm one pay packet away from my daughter and I being on the streets. My life was suppressed because of the husband. He kept me in the prison. In eight weeks, I'd lost my husband, my health and my home. We don't set out to be divorced. Families are, are complex. Women in their 50s is the fastest cohort of people experiencing homelessness in Australia. The face of poverty is female. That could be any one of us. We can fall on hard times. Hundreds of thousands of people are either homeless or on the brink of it. It's a national disgrace and we've got to fix it. The vision of what we're trying to achieve is inherent in our name. Housing all Australians. There's not enough social housing, there's not enough affordable housing. We have wastage in food in our society and I think wastage in buildings lying empty when people are sleeping on the street is another form of society's wastage. That's the thing, isn't it? How many buildings are around that are just sitting vacant? Why wouldn't we then try to engage in that and mobilise some of those community assets? The concept of the pop-up shelters is really nothing short of genius. And turn them into a home for people when they need it is incredibly smart and good use of resources. With the goodwill of the property industry, and there's so much goodwill out there, with an appropriate not-for-profit like the YWCA or Salvation Army, we can refurbish these buildings for short-term use. Over decades, we've seen inaction through the pop-up program. We're going to see more of that action whilst that policy reform and the structural changes that we need uh, occur. This task can't be done by government alone. What they need is the private sector or parties to come to the table, not just providing money, but the skills to help vulnerable Australians. The private sector just needs to know what to do because that was my experience as well. What are the three things we can actually do to make a difference? Housing All Australians is all about collaboration. It's all about the private sector getting together to give their skills on a pro bono basis. We can't solve the issues, but we can be part of the solution. And for us, what was important was that we were able to leverage off what we do best, which is building homes, helping to provide shelter for women that are extremely vulnerable. We have you know, paint and timber and kitchen supplies just there available. Um, it was easy for us to be able to help. One of the things about our members is that they do understand how to manage and maintain and operate facilities and have already put up their hand to be a part of that solution. An individual business can't solve homelessness, but they can do something that helps, designing programs that the market can support. It is not only a social issue, it is a fundamental economic issue. It is an economic platform for a successful and prosperous country. We want something that's sustainable, where we can look back in five, ten years' time and say, hand on heart, we contributed to that cause. We just wanted to do the right thing and be happy that we did something meaningful. It's time for agencies like ours to actually invite businesses to be partners in solving what is an issue for every Australian. Shelter is a human need, not a human right, because that's a society decision, but a human need. The pop-up house, it's very much community and it's a wonderful thing. It gives you security, it gives you, you know, that safety. We are where we are today and I feel very safe and comfortable and actually happy. Living here is all about healing, then moving on with your life. I used to fall very sick very often, but after coming here, I never felt sick. I'm feeling better simply because I'm making friends. It was just one of the best things that could have happened to me, really. I love living here, I do.